Dude, I'm about to smoke this bitch, bro. Hold on, let me grab her. Let me steal her whole fucking house. Before I go in there and get laid. Where are the condoms? The condoms in this bitch? Nah, they're not. Anything else in here before I head in that bitch? Alright, let's go. It's Aiden. Come in. Uh-oh. We have a nice place. Thanks. At least here you can pretend that this whole nightmare isn't happening outside. Oh, you God. Know, I had a dream. What dream? That one morning, I, I went outside. There were people on the streets, kids playing, people in the cafes, like in the books I read. <sighs> Crazy, right? I think we all share that dream. Do you think if this world were different, would you get married? Build a house? That seems unlikely. It's so detached from what my life is. My everyday life is in my imagination. In literature. I'm probably just a weak little girl to you. No. You're sensitive, but that doesn't mean you're weak. Those who are weak just give up. They stop caring about anything, give up on life, but you, you still care. It means you still fight. Someone told me once that only the gentle are ever really strong. Are we about to do it? Hold me. Aiden, can we pretend that what's outside isn't happening just this one time? All right, Thalia. Just this one time. Hey, hold up. Wait a minute. Were you just going to slip out? Well, no, I, it's just that, you know. Monsters to fight, people to save. I've read those books. I'll, um, I'll see you later. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. We both know the world we live in, after all. Didn't you say yours was the world of imagination? But not delusions. I'm glad this dream has come true. Likewise. I know. Goodbye, Aiden. Just fucking beat that pussy up, and I'm a dubber. I came out that bitch with a dub. I came out this bitch with a dub. 